John, safety is a, a word that is used in aviation, but for some reason doesn't get sold that well. You've got a new technology that's starting to achieve some very respectable market penetration. If you would, talk about the AmpSafe product line and more important, how it's working in the real world. The AmpSafe uh, aviation inflatable restraint system in particular is a relatively new technology. It uh, came into play uh, probably about uh, three, four years ago and we saw and, and the aviation community recognized that there is a certain area in aviation safety that has been somewhat lacking, right? Mm. And not only that, but as, as regulations and requirements of the FAA change, there's a need to find ways in which you can meet those new regulations. Um, the FAA found this interesting in su such that since it, FAA considered it new and novel for the aviation community, uh, and there were no requirements that really would address installing a seatbelt airbag into an uh, aircraft, the FAA initiated what's called special conditions. Special conditions are essentially um, federal aviation requirements for certification of a product where the current requirements don't adequately address that product. We had to show uh, high intensity radiated field protection, uh, immunity to uh, indirect effects of lightning. All in all, there's approximately about 14 special conditions that were issued so that the FAA was assured that when the product is actually certified and fielded into aircraft that it met a safety standard which was equal to at least FAA, uh, federal aviation regulations. The product is currently uh, certified both through FAA and EASA, European Aviation Safety Administration and European Community. Aero TV is brought to you by. Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own, and easy to operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Currently, um, the product is on, well, in fact, we have approximately, on, on this is uh, uh, an estimate on my part, uh, 22,000 uh, seat placements already flying today. We have uh, uh, about 2 million plus hours of uh, flight time uh, on the product. Uh, it's in 44 uh, major uh, airlines um, and in 95% of the general aviation fleet that's manufactured today, it's standard equipment and or option. Um, with regard to the system itself, it, it is self-contained. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that interfaces into the aircraft systems. Right. And this was an important point with the FAA because typically if you interface with an aircraft system, there's a whole, a whole nother type of uh, of requirements that you have to meet with regard to system interface. Mm -hmm. The unique thing about this, uh, the what we call it the air system, the AMP safe aviation inflatable restraint, is that it is capable of going into just about any platform and it is self-contained. The system contains essentially the seatbelt airbag assembly, the electronics module assembly which is the sensor which controls the signal to the uh, inflator, and the inflator contains 6,250 psi of compressed helium. Typically, the inflator is installed within the airframe someplace, uh, possibly under a seat, in the back of a seat, or some other section of the airframe where the uh, hose to the airbag is, is conveniently uh, acquired. An interface cable connects the electronics module assembly to the inflator and the uh, interface cable. When the sensor detects a crash condition, it sends an electrical signal to the inflator, which then discharges the gas into a hose, which goes into the airbag, and the airbag then rips through a rip stitch on the uh, seatbelt airbag assembly, and the bag deploys. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. 
a complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Now, what you see here is our demonstrator. The demonstrator is not uh, powered by high uh, compressed gas, helium. It's simply uh, compressed air. What you'll see is a very slow deployment. Typically, the deployment occurs between 52 to 58 milliseconds, which is faster than the blink of the eye. By requirement, we have to show that the deployment is not injurious to the occupant and also is capable of producing uh, additional protection from an individual, a two-year-old, up to and including a 95th percentile. We currently produce two, three, and four, and five-point restraints. The airbag that you see here is a three-point restraint. The airbag for a three-point restraint is located in the lap portion of the belt. On a two-point restraint, it's also located in the lap portion of the belt. Where we have a four-point restraint, uh, the airbag is located in one of the two shoulder restraints. 